Aviation This Week is brought to you by Lavero Aviation, your aviation solutions provider. Your top story. Indonesia to receive world's first CL515, then Rolls-Royce to acquire Siemens electric propulsion business, and Bombardier unveils Learjet 75 Liberty. BC-based Longview Aviation and its subsidiary Viking Air reached a deal to provide Indonesia's Ministry of Defense with seven firefighting aircraft, including one Canadair CL-415 EAF and six new production CL-515 airplanes. The next-generation CL-515 platform features enhanced firefighting capabilities, but also flexibility to support a range of critical missions from maritime patrol and surveillance to medevac and insect control. With Indonesia's CL-515 deliveries scheduled to begin in 2024, four aircraft will hold what is defined as first responder configuration, with the other two delivered in optimized aerial firefighting configuration. The CL-515 is expected to have up to 15% better aerial firefighting productivity, including increased tank capacity of up to 7,000 liters and the ability to refill in 14 seconds which equates to dropping just under 700,000 liters per day. The CL-515 will also include the Collins Proline Fusion Avionics Suite for improved situational awareness. Rolls-Royce reached an agreement to acquire the electric and hybrid electric aerospace propulsion activities of Siemens, collectively referred to as that company's e-aircraft business. Expected to be complete in late 2019, Rolls-Royce states the move will accelerate delivery of its electrification strategy in an effort to play a major role in the third year of aviation. Based in Germany and Hungary, the e-aircraft business employs around 180 designers and engineers. This team has already worked with Rolls-Royce on the eFan X demonstrator project to develop hybrid electric propulsion that can power regional aircraft. Rolls-Royce notes it already holds one of the world's most comprehensive hybrid turbine engine development and integration programs, paving the way for experimental test flights in 2021. Its current electrification ground tests focus on a Rolls-Royce M250 gas turbine engine, which has powered more than 170 varieties of fixed and rotary wing aircraft since its introduction. Bombardier unveiled the Learjet 75 Liberty, stating the light jet will be offered at a list price of 9.9 million US, with first deliveries expected in 2020. To be manufactured in Wichita, Kansas, the six-seat 75 Liberty is to feature a flat floor throughout the cabin and an executive suite, which the company describes as unique to the light jet category. The aircraft will hold a range of 2,080 nautical miles, connecting Las Vegas to New York, Seattle to Washington, D.C., and Mexico City to San Francisco. The 75 Liberty is certified to the FAA's more stringent Part 25 regulations, applicable to commercial airliners, unlike most competitors in the light jet category that are certified to Part 23. The aircraft will feature Bombardier's Vision Flight Deck and the recently announced Garmin G5000 avionics upgrade. Thanks again to our sponsor, Lavero Aviation, your aviation solutions provider. Register today for Careers in Aviation 2019 taking place on September 21st at WestJet's facility in Mississauga.